love love the horns. The man. horns, man. Yeah. I regret. That you know, I I played trumpet in high school, oh, okay. um, in jazz band and in marching band and stuff, and I really regret not continuing that in my adult life. You know, I played all through middle school and high school. I loved it. I was actually really good. Well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> One day, I think I sold it, and then you know, just never picked it up again. Well, you know, that's you already have that exposure. That yeah. instrument. Oh, absolutely. And th- that instrument can come back into your life. And you Never think, know. That's right. That's right. Um, you know, it's it's not like y- you don't have to do it, right? You know, like, or, you know, maybe when you're younger, you know, we, we end up giving up things or we, we put things off to, I like to say we put them off to the side because we got to raise kids, we got to do this, we got right, right. You know, jobs, you know, we're, we're living, right? But uh, it's always in the back of your mind with something you love, and uh, you can always go back to it. You don't have to give it up. You can go back to it. You can. Yeah. And and also, you're so busy. Yeah. You know, it's like (laughs) I was a basketball player, so it's like Mm -hmm. sitting down to practice anything in my 20s was just not going to happen. Right, yeah. It's hard for you. Yeah. Right. I was in the Marine Corps, so I didn't have much time to to sit. They wouldn't let... You play in the barracks, you know, because they were like, shut up over there. <laughs> right. No, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Small yeah. quarters, you know. Right. Like, You're the Marines. Uh, yeah. Like a <laughs> no, million, she's a Marine. A That's million awesome. years ago. Yeah. 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 Chris Kyle was on TV the other day. I had to check that out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah. American Sniper. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a great movie. That's a great movie. It uh, truly is. Yes. I agree movie. with you on that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, my uncles were Jimi Hendrix was in the in the army. He was, he was, and he yeah. played in the well, army band that, actually. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, that's where you get your chops up, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, well, we want to thank you because uh, that's the quickest we've ever got that guy off of uh, the video. I can't yeah. believe. <laughs> Oh, we, I love, we love him. I am shocked that he gave up his the rest of his time for you. Yeah. I am floored. Well, that guy. That's not that guy. That's not yeah. how he normally rolls. Just no, saying. He tries to milk every minute he can. That's, That's true. an understatement. Yeah. We absolutely love him. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's awesome, but yeah. it's just shocking he gave up his time for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, man. Thank you, Dad Guy. I know you're still listening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he is. I know he you said you were a basketball player, but how tall are you? I, I'm 6'6". Six, 6'6". Six. Six, six. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And, he know, walked it. in. I'm like, I've never felt so short in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, when you yeah. see him on stage, right, he's, he's, uh, he's bigger. Right? <laughs> yes, he is. And he's got his hat on, right? He's well, Mr. sure. Cool, yeah. you know, and he's, he's laying it down, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I could see that. A little different vibe in here sitting in the Chocolate Bar Studios. All Although it's an honor having you here, though. Oh, my goodness, yeah, it is. Yeah, and Danny, we, we really do have to raise the tiki bar roof. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, we had a little bit of a problem in there. I got a nick right here. You got a nick? You talked about you know, Scott, yeah. Scotty yeah. Chill said, uh, he says, dang, he's an inch taller than me. And Scotty is the one that, um, yeah. Scotty's 6'5", yeah. and he always hits his head. That's, That's the one I was yeah. telling you. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, Scotty, but, somebody, somebody, finally, Scotty has to look up to. Yeah. <laughs> My son-in-law is six four, and he always hits his head on. Well, yeah, but too. the problem is, Scotty keeps drinking and keeps hitting his head. That's true. <laughs> he, he doesn't learn from it. You know? I know he never. Yeah, does. but we could definitely do a house concert outside, and you can stand outside the tiki bar stage. There's no yeah. no yeah. question about that. That well, is that, not an issue. That stage is eight foot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a room unless I jump, and I'm not jumping as high as I used to jump. Yeah. I'll be honest. I I intentionally jump like this high anymore to end on time. Hey, you. Jump like me. <laughs> if I get on top of the amp and jump off, that's. that's, that's awesome. I got air again. Got yeah, there you go, man. Yeah. There you yeah. go. It's tough, man. Well, cool, brother. Uh, so, uh, you know, one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, we we have uh, musicians all over the world, really, that uh, come through here and, uh, you know, go down to Key West to our festival. They come through here to. Um, uh, concerts. Uh, we do festivals. Uh, B Dog and uh, Lou have a show on Wednesday night. They're going up to Putin Bay and mm-hmm. uh, Nashville to do uh, um, yep. uh, some live broadcasts for yes, uh, Silent Song promotions. Uh, Scotty Chill is another one of our broadcasters down in Ocala, Florida. He's going to Jacksonville to do one there. Mm-hmm. You know, some of these musicians, uh, you know, it could be some of the younger musicians that uh, you're working mm-hmm. with or whatever. 
we get them out here, man. We'd love to have them. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, have them on the radio. Oh, uh, have definitely. Them play, uh, all oh, that stuff. thank you. Thank yeah. you for that. Because yeah. uh, I, I, I've been doing vocal coaching. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. And I've got, wow. yeah, I've got a young lady. She's on a record label uh, down in Atlanta. Yeah. Damn. And, uh, yeah. And so um, then I got a young another young lady up in, uh, I mean, it's 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 crazy just how talented again she's she could win the voice wow but she's not 18 yet so she'll be 18 in July oh and you know we're working up some I mean she does Whitney wow. Houston to the you know to that level wow wow, wow. really well, we have yeah. the capability wow. uh, to do these video interviews just like we did with that guy right mm-hmm. so they don't have to actually be here you know if she's up somewhere or whatever we'd love to have them here. Right. But, uh, you know, if it's somebody that uh, you thought it'd be good for us to interview or whatever, we can always have them on a video interview and everybody can see it at the same time and hear it on the radio. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I've been taking carriage rides in uh, downtown mm-hmm. uh, Chattanooga. Nice. Uh, oh, it's, it's, yeah. those are awesome. I've done that. Yeah. yeah. And I've been doing uh, musicians in carriages talking the blues. Ooh. Oh, yeah. wow. It's on my Facebook, so you can scroll on that. And um, Man, I'm going to have to look at that up. I'm going yeah. to come do that with you. But like Danny, you were saying, we had to do new things and figure out new ways. Sure. And that was just one of the things yeah. I said. You know, everything slowed down so much in Tennessee and the world during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. definitely. The carriage rides were still out there. They yeah. were. <laughs> they were, yeah. I, I was, they they I didn't wanna, stop. And I took the carriage ride, and I said, I can get some musicians to sing on a ride and we and so oh that's cool. that might be a good way to link and oh definitely well yeah. we're hoping uh you can put in a good word with us with uh wonderlinger brewery down there you know because we're going to do a blues show tomorrow night uh live on the radio and monday? Uh, yeah, yeah monday. tomorrow night yes monday. 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 Monday blues, let's right? go yes but, <laughs> but what we're going to do is uh you know because we're a big fan of you and in, in the open mic on monday night you know we're going to Start, promote you guys, promote you guys oh, about the Monday night show uh, that you guys do, the open mic, uh, when you come into Chattanooga. Because a lot of people are listening, that they're not in Chattanooga. We have a right. lot, we have, you know, four or 5,000 uh, listeners in Chattanooga, but, uh, you know, broader wise around the world is kind of our, our unique thing. But a lot of people come here, they want to they wanna see the chocolate bar, they want to come to the tiki bar, they want to be a part of the show, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, we have, yeah, we have concerts mm-hmm. here. And, uh, but, one of the things that I'm always talking about is Chattanooga, how much I'm proud of Chattanooga, how far it's come. I mean, when I was a kid growing up here, you didn't go downtown, right? It was, you know, we had, to, like most cities in the world, they had those orange lights, right? And it right, was dark yeah. in between the lights. And, and uh, we had Eastgate. We had the only mall was Eastgate. And uh, then they built Northgate, you know. So uh, they have done so much with downtown that uh, it's just, um, you know, it's it's just a beautiful place to come and visit. And I love it, you know. Right. It is. I was, I was on the North Shore last night actually having dinner. I mean, it's great how this has all expanded. Yeah. Hey, I wanted to mention that he was he's doing something for McKamey. I was telling him where we got Katie from. Oh, yeah. yeah. He does a blues thing with oh, McKamey. Oh, he does. Oh, man. That That's is awesome. So cool. No. I, I'm just well, like, thank you for bringing how that up, sweet is yeah. that? That's great, helping out the and animals. To sing and play to the dogs and cats and well, stuff. That's like flat out all. I had no, no idea. No, it's, That's it's, awesome. Thank you. It's, um, I mean, it's. it's it's really for the employees. It well, the employees you know, too, but still, I, I will play for the dogs and the cats. <laughs> but they can, they can hear it. I play for them at home. So. Well, Katie May, <laughs> they can hear it. Katie May is used to having music played all the time. Oh, so yeah. she, no, she, she is. I took a yeah. picture with Katie May. I'm going to share it. it, is, it oh, it, definitely. Yeah. And basically, it says "Got to Compassion Blues," and there's help Ooh. for that. Uh, Compassion mm-hmm. Blues group will meet. We meet on the last uh, month, uh, two or three uh, at March 28th on site at McKamey. So, okay. So what we're with the blues is what we, what I try to do is just help allow them to tell their stories. Yeah. Wow! Through the song, and then the next day at work for them, I hope that's just enough to keep them to sure keep them going. Wow. You know, and it's really tough right now with McKamey because they 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 are overcrowded. They are crowded, and, and I uh, want to take more, but you, you can. Know, he, I, I know you the know, feeling. Yeah. I'm with you. You have to focus on one animal at a time. Yes, it, because McKamey has to deal with the opposite of that. The folks who 
want to take more, and then the folks who have too many. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yes. They can't take care of them, so they have to go take those. Take get the ones away. Mm-hmm. Right. right. And and that's that's a problem, too. Well, I'd like to say, you know, I'm just trying to give all my love to Ka- to Katie May, but she's about all I can handle. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I have two dogs. That's more than enough. I'm right. just saying. I've yeah. got two. That's Nicole. Nicole, Nicole Hall says, I love him even more now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's awesome. Well, just yeah, saying. Well, Michelle yeah. Myers just chimed in. She's. I've just purchased all of his albums. So. Oh wow, <laughs> very good. And they are out there. I was. Uh, I was Thank out you, there. <laughs> and we told you this that you know, and that's common with our listeners. You know, since your music is out there, they will buy your music and help yeah. you out. Well, yeah, it's not a problem. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that does. Thank you. Well, and uh, we try to, uh, we always encourage uh, everybody to buy the music directly from the artist because, and, and we, and they know this, that, uh, you know, they're going to pay more for that, but that's the point. That's what it's about. Uh, you know, downloads are, are fantastic. Don't get me wrong. You know, having yeah. your music out there, a lot of people can hear it, but from an artist standpoint, supporting you or whatever, you know, you're probably going to sign it, send it to them, maybe whatever, you know. Yeah, and, you'll probably and, sign a CD and, uh, for somebody. For yeah. sure. And, uh, but it's really, you get all that money for that CD as opposed to having to share it with the yeah. uh, online services and stuff. I mean, it's it's yeah. great to have all avenues, but we yeah. encourage everybody to go directly to buy it from you. And thank you, and that's why I'll be back on Tiki Man Radio. Ah, there you go. I love you. Thank you. And that's, no, that, that's, this is the coolest online radio thing that I've ever. Really? Yeah. Really? Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, we like to think we were the best kept secret in Chattanooga. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, even though we've been banging it out for eight years. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it has really bothered me that we haven't gotten back down since, uh, it, what was it, last summer? Uh, when, it was after the summer Chris party. Chris and Danny were here. Chris and Danny were here from That's right. Key West, and uh, they wanted to go down. And I have wanted to go uh, back. At, I mean, that was an amazing, it was a magical night, really, because uh, I really enjoyed, I can't remember the exact date, so I don't. You know, you know, I don't, I don't remember who all was playing with you that night, but you had some kids up there. Yeah, it, it was, was cool. Yeah, they were jamming. It was fantastic. We, it was a perfect night because uh, they're jamming out, and then it came one hellacious rainstorm. That's right, right. Oh, <laughs> and and nobody leave. could leave. Yeah. Right, so they're like, okay, we'll get another up. drink at the bar and listen to the blues. I'm hey, like, this we is were, perfect. We were, it was like, perfect. How did they make that happen? <laughs> Ah. It was, Captive it was, audience. Yeah, for a, oh, he's getting his they guitar. Can you do yeah. another song? They call Absolutely. It's Tommy Monday. Yeah, there you hey, go. yeah, there no. You go. Yeah. And Tuesday's just as bad. That's right. They call it Stormy Monday. At the Wand of Linger Brewing Company, and Tuesdays just ain't bad. to play. Please send her home to 
to me. I got a milk bone waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Wow. And she's taken all his milk bones yeah, today. She has, yeah. No wonder she's all over him. <laughs> she's like, I love you, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah. Well, that's really cool you got that connection with Kami because, you know, that was a uh, a Christmas present for, um, you know, when she when she moved in here, you know, she's always had, I traveled uh, for years, you know, 25 years or whatever, so I couldn't have a, a dog or a cat or anything here and. Uh, but when she moved in, I recognized that that was a big part of her life, right? So we went down I'm like, okay, for Christmas we'll go get uh, we'll go get pick out Katie May and McCamey has this really cool uh, way of color coding the animals, right? Like if you mm-hmm. want a spunky one, you want a you know a, a mild one, what you know, and they were colored or whatever. And uh, right. I remember Katie May was uh, she was a green. She was in the green, right? Green zone, which means that she's pretty easy going. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'm yeah. like, okay, that's. A, I know. think the purple ones have have had trauma in their yeah. life yeah. Oh, they okay. need so, a lot of attention so they had yeah. them separated that way which was kind of cool but i remember walking down through that that green section there where katie may was and uh, the other dogs were just like hey hey over here over here over here me 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 and katie's just sitting there like and i'm like we'll take her <laughs> <laughs> That was exactly how I picked Daggett. <laughs> yeah, and then we brought her home and she turned on us. <laughs> she works at everything now. Yes, but I love yeah. that dog. Yes, she does. Yeah. I love her. Her job is to wash the windows all day long, right? And and God help you, you know, I mean, and she's wagging her tail the whole time, but if right. you walk in front of the house, you know, it's like, what in the hell are you doing out there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she That's starts. Crazy dog. Uh, that's why I'm glad I had some milk bones on me. <laughs> yes. You have a new best friend, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> she's a sweetheart. She loves She everybody. is. No, she's awesome. Awesome. And she's used to having people here. Yes, right. she is. You know, you can tell right away. So, well, um, and, you know, animals make our lives better. Yes, they do. Uh, they do. And they're, they're part of our families. Like you say, Danny, I don't have the time yeah. to, you know, to take a dog out to potty three times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. You know, I see my neighbors doing that and stuff. I'm just like, I can't even do that. Yeah. Understood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I can, I can have some dog treats, you know. I can, well, yeah. I can pet a dog, mm-hmm. I, you know, and that's still part of it sure yes it is yeah and, and they, they still love it they still love it and in that time i get that big ranch up on the hill <laughs> there you go I'll you'll get a, there give me a couple chihuahuas <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, no, that's no. what you like dude. <laughs> no no no, 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 no. <laughs> well there's a lot i love all dogs it's all yep. good you know there's a lot of things you know when you when you got love in your heart right there's a lot of ways to uh share that right and you don't mm-hmm. you don't uh you don't have to, uh, you know, you, you just because you can't do something, there's something you can do, and that's what you're doing. You know, you're going down and play the blues at uh, McCamey. That's pretty awesome, man. Thank you. Um, I just think, uh, uh, you know, I, I really uh, appreciate you being here and, um, you know, taking the time to come up here and, like, on a whim, too, right? Like, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I pull up somebody's strange person's <laughs> house. Or I built the whole place back here. Because uh, I used to travel a lot, and I was in, uh, I was in, uh, you know, speakeasies and stuff up in Illinois and stuff. And I wanted to feel like when you walked in, it's like, holy crap! You yeah. would never know this was here, right? That's it. And that's what a lot of people do, you right. know. I, I, almost wanted, I almost wanted to knock on the door and say, <laughs> <laughs> "Tiki Man TT48." <laughs> <laughs> Try well, again. Try again. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a whole other private uh, site for Tiki Bar members uh, that's private for people that have actually been here. We'll add you to that. Yeah, and please. That, yeah, he deserves um, it. And that's uh, there. That's where you see the behind the scenes of everything yeah. that's going on. But uh, yeah. uh, you're always welcome. Oh, here. no. Then he'll Thank get you. to see me trying, attempting. Ca- I'm a terrible singer, by the yeah, way. You but, don't, you, yeah. You don't want, you you don't want chocolate karaoke. bar karaoke. No. 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 Yeah. No. It's, hor- no. it's horrible. <laughs> Heather, we'll do live band karaoke. Yeah, that would be oh, better. There we go. Yeah, so that'll that'll be be that way we can adjust to your key. Yep. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the karaoke tracks are stuck on that track, so you know. I know. Oh just my! Yeah. And you can't go you that. Can't I go can't that. go that high. But, I'm a oh my! We will tra- We will 
Yeah. Transpose it for you. I don't know if I sing. How many times can you change keys? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, these these <laughs> girls get in here doing karaoke. I'm telling you, man, it makes it's your rough, dude. Okay, it's <laughs> rough. It, it's rough, but we have so much fun. Well, I got to give a shout out to Scotty Chill. He just chimed in saying that he bought some of your songs off of, you, of iTunes. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome as well. Thank you for that. So you yeah, go. thank yeah. you, Scotty Chill. Yeah, man, he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let he's me know awesome. What you think? And have people in there wanting to know? Do you have a website and wanting to know exactly oh, where? Well, I don't know if he does well, he not. Said, Reverb Nation. Reverb, Reverb Nation. Nation. Rick Rushing and the Blue Strangers or Facebook. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't normally don't accept people on Facebook until I meet them. Yeah. Oh, well, I you understand. Know. I'm the same way. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I finally have started breaking down. I, I met Dot. On, on the screen. <laughs> that guy. That, count, I, that, I, guy, I, that guy. That guy, yeah. That well, counts. I added him. Uh, yeah. Well, we're sorry for that, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can also, you know, he's on uh, Spotify, and because um, uh, I was listening to some of his music on mm -hmm. Spotify, you can go over and check it out over there as well. Well, thank you all again for having me. I just want to thank you all. This is awesome. Because, yeah, this is what the blues needs is allies and people who understand the music yeah. and understand the human being aspect understand the quality that music brings to the experience of people's lives yeah. mm -hmm. and the healing influence that it has and we need all the technology pushing that forward as well to support the artist sure mm. and that's what you know tiki man radio has always been about is the uh, independent artists we uh, we have a lot of artists that uh, up and coming all over the, the, the world that we've interviewed and, and um, you know, we, we try to focus on that. And then we have a festival in Key West where we give them an avenue to play, you know, and uh, we have house concerts here to support them. And that's kind of what we've always done and uh, what we're about. And that's why I wanted to uh, make sure you knew that uh, if you had somebody that you were working with that you thought would be. Uh, um, you know, a good uh, interview or something that you thought, uh, a story. You know, a lot of times uh, uh, the people that you meet, it's the story behind them that, uh, just like you, mm -hmm. I was I was drawn to you by all of the cool things that you do, even though you're, I think you're a masterful guitar player and I love your music, I love the person you are mm -hmm. and all the things that you're doing. Wow, thank you. I'm fortunate that later in life I found music to where I could understand a little bit more about life when I was yeah. able to become a musician sure versus being young and potentially I think I would probably would have been burnt out yeah potentially probably would have been strung out um, but you know because you're older and you have the time I was older when I learned you know about 26 when I got my guitar yeah oh, okay uh, my first guitar so um, but I played cello, like you said earlier. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah, so like that's saying, cool. You know, things yeah. they don't stay. You know, they're pretty close to our genes and to our to our real, you know, our genetic makeup. So deep down inside, you have some Miles Davis in you. Yeah. Oh, Miles I know all about my Miles favorite. Davis. Miles in He's from my hometown, Alton, Illinois. By the way. Oh, what? here you yes. go again. Uh, here Shotty we go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Alton, <laughs> Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Did the, <laughs> hold on, did the, the, uh, the Illinois beat the Mox last Friday? I was we at, did. Oh, we yeah. did by yeah. yes, we did by one point. By one point. Yes, so, we did. Oh, I was man. at I was at High Five Clyde's on Main. Oh, and, that's an awesome place. I love that the, place. The, the, the game is on the yeah. screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and. We're everyone's like, when's the music start? Well, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> about 15 seconds left. And we yeah, watch it's gonna be a minute. Well, <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch the game. I and mean, so I understand. All, everybody's in their hype, and you know, of course, we lose. And then, uh, oh, it was, yeah, and everyone was here. And mm -hmm. so like, all right, Rick, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you play some blues, up, everybody. Above, <laughs> so sure, yeah. Yeah. You play some rock and roll, then. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there you go. Well. well as far as we've came, you know, from the the pandemic, I mean, you know, it's so cool to see everybody getting together, and the, the mocks have done such a great they job. Have. And I the baseball, our baseball team, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, ZNG was telling me that uh, they beat um, um, he was the, the Rebs, the Rebs, old, yeah. Yeah. old Miss, I think, old yeah. Miss Rebs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, he enjoyed it yesterday mm -hmm. watching the game, even though the you know the the you know Vols won. But uh, I just you know. We didn't have that, man. In 2020, we lost everything. Yeah, right? none of that was around. And yeah. now we're, we're rooting for our uh, home team, and, and everybody's having fun with it. I, I just think it's fantastic. Yeah. You know? And it's, that's, you know, we have to. We can't outsource everything. No. No. You know? yeah. Because when you can't afford gas to fly in some big stars from wherever, yeah. right? mm -hmm. yeah. you need to call somebody that can drive. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, well, that's good. 
Hopefully uh, you'll put in a good word with us uh, for us down at Wonderlinger. And uh, I'd love to sit down and talk to those guys about uh, promoting what you're doing there on Monday night. Mm-hmm. And um, we can get some of your your listeners. Yeah. Yeah, well, we can. Oh, definitely. In, you know, the, the play ultimate. a couple songs, you know, just let, you know, let us know because – there's tons of blues songs out there, and cats yeah. come up, you know, and then some cats come up and they're like, "Let's play Pride and Joy." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. "Really? Yeah. Really?" Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of songs that are just not "Let's play these songs." Yeah, there's a lot of songs that have to be cultivated before you can get the room right sure. to play them. Right? That's yeah, right. you know, I agree. And, you know, so one of your, you know, your more experienced is Jam. You know, what I'm saying. Yeah. They would know that, but it is mm-hmm. what it is. If I know Pride and Joy's coming up, I'll tighten it up. <laughs> you gotta be on it. Well, how does that work? Do they do they come in and sign up, or with, do you know these? Uh, I mean, I kind of got the impression that night you knew who they were. Sometimes I'll have them sign up. But yeah. yes, oh, I, most okay. of the time they'll send me a message and say, "Hey, I'm coming." Okay. Okay. So cool. So you knew ahead of time, yeah. right? Okay. So what are you gonna say? I was just gonna say that B Man from Key West, yeah. you know, B Man and Shell, mm-hmm. uh, they're gonna uh, start playing. His his music on uh, 104.9 uh, the Barefoot Radio now. Oh, oh wow. very nice. On their very Tuesday nice. Night show. Whoa. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. I wow. Mean, uh, no, congratulations. Well, man. you know, Billy Blue, uh, legendary guitar player, uh, blues player, he lives in Key West. Uh, okay. He has, uh, he's had a lot of health issues over the last uh, few years, mm-hmm. uh, and he can't uh, sing like he used to, and they've had a lot of benefits for him down. But uh, B-Man is uh, my partner for the uh, Songwriter Showcase, and he's also a DJ on 104.9 down there, the oh. Barefoot Radio. And so That's awesome. They added him. They were putting his music in as we speak. Nice. Wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Yeah, That's, thank you. And, yeah. and B-Man, hope you... Uh, the health gets gets to where you can continue to do what you were passionate about. Yeah, well, Billy Blue, yeah, yeah. Billy, yeah. Billy Blue, yeah, yeah. yeah. Billy Blue, yeah, man. Um, but uh, wow. that's cool. That's cool that uh, Brian. That's awesome. That. Yeah, yeah that's true. we just sit here and make things happen. Key <laughs> <laughs> wow. Largo, Montego. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. See, it was awesome coming over here today. It was. <laughs> you know. Well, that's, uh, that's you know, and I, I never worried about him not coming. I, he probably thought, well, what the hell am I doing? You know, it's a Sunday morning. It's too early and all that kind of stuff. Well, but, yeah. But he's also, you know, with everything else that he's got going on in, in town, uh, he strikes me as a, as a guy that's not afraid to do something different. So, no, no, he's uh, not. We're very blessed to uh, have you here, man. I'm thankful. This is awesome. Yeah, and it's been a great start to this upcoming because – what I've learned is one, when you start to get on stages like Riverbend, mm-hmm. folks want to talk to you about, hey, how'd you get on there? You know, right? Yeah, yeah and, definitely. And, and sure. so to to be able to share my story, I've been, you know, to kind of get. I, I don't. I try to keep to myself a little bit, mm-hmm. just because it's not necessarily. But, you know, you're expecting people to pay thirty dollars to come and check you out. I sure. can at least give them a snippet. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. yeah I can at least talk about the story and mm-hmm. the journey to get there. So I'm a, I'm enjoying this. This is kind of like my first ep- interview for, you know, this type of thing. So I'm rolling with it. That's cool, man. Hey, it's working out for you. Thank I'm you. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, make sure you tell everybody about Tiki Man Radio. And, please. Uh, yes, we'll, uh, please. You're always welcome here. I need a t-shirt. Here. I need a... <laughs> oh, we can hook you up. <laughs> I, need a koozie. I need a koozie. Yeah. Oh, we got all that. We'll Tiki Man will walk you through the store on your way yes. out. <laughs> that is not a problem, yeah, The funny sir. thing is you can't get out of here until you go through the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Rock City, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They dump you right into the gift shop. You can't get out. Yeah. Definitely.